Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix this country together. And the content that I'm going to show you tonight is a little bit of the Biden administration, White House slash Empire Strikes Back kind of vibe, because they just threatened to veto the veteran budget, the defense budget, all around that whole fiduciary responsibility of veterans don't get gun rights, they can't manage a checkbook. They made a strike today. It's breaking. Everything will be linked in the description box below, and I can't wait to hear from you guys on this one. And of course, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn the notification bell on, and send this one out, because this is happening under the radar, and we're going to bring it for you right now. This is coming directly from GOA, and I can't wait to hear what you guys say again in the comments field down there. And guys, if you have not gotten the limited time design shirt that I'm wearing right now, inspired by gun controllers, built to fight gun controllers, just in time for Father's Day, nobody likes a Glock block. We all know it. But this is something that we designed with Nine Line in order to bring you a shirt that was unique for that special gun owner in your life who you just can't buy something for. Well, now you do. And this shirt is going like gangbusters. The first one's in or the first one's going out when they're printed. Printing will be on Monday, so this is limited. Don't miss your chance. Again, get in here early so you can get it before Father's Day. And thank you so much to all the people who have gotten one because this thing is going well. And again, thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoy. Now let's get into this because, oh! Mm. Oh, by the way, it'll be linked in the description box. I didn't say that, but it's right down there. All right. First thing I'm going to do, this is coming from GOA, Gun Owners of America, okay? Let me show you what they said, and then I'll show you the actual clip that they're referencing. Again, this is as of about an hour ago, so this is very new. Congresswoman Debbie Washerman Schultz is dead wrong, and she's no friend to gun rights. Just letting you know. Department of Veteran Affairs has disarmed 261,168 veterans with the fiduciary program. Now, the fiduciary program is that little insert where they were basically reporting to the NICS background check system that if you, through the Veterans, Affair, uh, um, Veterans Affairs organization, had any type of problem with your finances, you were adjudicated mentally deficient and insufficient to own firearms and therefore they just completely marked you as you can't have guns because you can't balance a checkbook no judge no nothing in fact she even witnesses it here that's what we're talking about okay now no other american with a fiduciary is prohibited from possessing firearms now a fiduciary is someone that guarantees you're doing right by your finances okay that's the responsibility of that individual is to make sure you're taken care of financially okay keep that in mind as i play you this clip because she outright Lies. Again, props to GOA. Here we go. When you have a veteran who has been referred to a fiduciary to take over their finances, that means that they are actually prohibited by federal law from buying or possessing a gun. And this bill carves out an exception and prevents the VA from referring a veteran who would otherwise not be able, under federal law, to purchase or possess a gun to continue to do so. And that's dangerous to the veteran? Eh, wrong. Now, she, what she's trying to say is anybody with a fiduciary, it, it's just perfect common sense, right? The only problem is she's dead wrong. That's the only program that takes away gun rights, the only one. Okay, so the very thought here is that she's trying to back off the edge of concern because, after all, this is for common sense. And it just so happens, look what the Biden administration through the White House just sent out, also from GOA. Check this out, and I swear there's coincidences abound, don't they? Breaking. White House threatens to veto H.R. 8580, the Department Veteran Affairs funding bill, because a GOA-backed provision prohibits Joe Biden's bureaucrats from disarming veterans. So the White House is starting to threaten to veto the funding package, all the while they were saying Republicans weren't providing the funding to get the bills. They were being obstructionist. So now, that's what the Biden administration is doing. Okay, I'm going to run you through a few things because I have the letter right here. Everything is linked for your review. It's at GOA's Twitter feed. This is the Statement of Administrative Policy. As you can see, there's the date, June 3rd, 2024. H.R. 8580, Military Construction and Veterans Affairs and Related Agencies Appropriations Act of 2025. This is the funding for next year. Okay, The whole nomenclature and the talking point that Republicans were being obstructionists and they just didn't want to fund anything and they're bad, go back. Yeah, these guys are now saying from the White House they're going to completely veto it. Don't believe me? 
If the president were presented with H.R. 8580, he would veto it. It's even highlighted for your convenience. That's the first page. Now, the next page we're going to get to, and I'm going to show you what they're actually referencing because this is the important piece. That's the second page itself. I'm going to zoom into the highlighted spot for you. National Instant Criminal Background Check System. The administration strongly opposes Section 261 of the bill, which would prohibit VA from reporting a person determined to be mentally incompetent during the VA benefits evaluation process without the order or finding of a judge, magistrate, or other judicial authority. So none of those things, just the Veterans Affairs Organization. Um, anybody? Anyone concerned about due process? Okay, let's continue. Potential beneficiaries deemed mentally incompetent already can obtain further review of that determination. Again, this is about balancing checkbooks and financials. Okay. The proposed revision would effectively prohibit VA from reporting mentally incompetent beneficiaries who would need a fiduciary to the National Instant Criminal Background Check System. So they are complaining about the idea that they can't do this without a judge or a magistrate or some other judicial authority and then doubling down and saying they're, they're upset because it would report mentally incompetent beneficiaries who need a fiduciary to the natural, uh, natural, goodness gracious, National Instant Criminal Background Check System, thus creating a dangerous loophole that would allow these individuals to obtain firearms and endanger their safety and the safety of their communities. Now, here's the thing. I'm very sensitive to this one because these people fought for our country. And if they didn't fight for our country, they signed up expecting that they could be uh, drawn on to fight in our country or for our country. This is the response, this is the respect and the response that they're given from the White House under the Biden administration and the Democrats like Debbie Washerman Schultz, who's saying you can't have the rights of which you fought for because you can't balance your checkbook. And by the way, I really don't like the idea that you're asking for a judge or a magistrate or a judicial review because that kind of impedes my power over you through my executive bureaucracies. So we're going to go ahead and just get rid of the entire bill by veto or threatening veto even though those mean, nasty Republicans weren't funding anything and they are so evil, but we're going to go ahead and veto the thing they did send us because we don't want people to have representation. Guys, this is nefarious. They didn't want, they didn't like this when it passed. They didn't like this across the board. And now they're hoping through the specter of the Biden or the Biden trial, the Hunter Biden trial and Trump's conviction and the election that this is just going to slide right under the radar. They're goofing right in front of you. It's up to you guys who you share it with. And that's what I've got for you guys. Shout out to GOA for bringing this to the attention. And of course, I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.